Hey guys, how is it going? Michael Troy here. Today we have a super fun one. Indie um, artist comic spotlight. Feral star number zero from amazing artist John Burkett. As you can tell from this gorgeous cover, look at all that insane detail and spectacular black and white. Cannot wait to share it with you. I've been sitting on it for a hot minute. And uh, subscribe to my channel and hit like and let's get right into it. All right, so John Burkett is a, an artist that I became associated with. I became familiar with his work through certain fan projects, I believe like uh, Image Grand Design, Darkest Image, and possibly something else. I apologize, but I don't know. I know he's from something like that. And so this is his Ash Can Feral Star, his own um, work. I love it. It looks amazing. Immediately getting, um, what do you call it? Uh, shoot, you know, uh, 2000 AD vibes. Thank you. It finally came. Anyway, the details in 2000 AD is like the Judge Dredd stuff. So he would be the perfect Judge Dredd artist. And obviously he must be a fan because I clearly see the inspiration here. Great logo. Um, this is the first printing of his ash can. Um, I think his book is coming out. I don't know. I should have checked, but he did a second printing and it has a color cover. Um, you know, anyone who watches my channel knows how obsessed I am with black and white art. I do love colored art. Obviously, my own colors are insane. So, but I do love this. It's like the next best thing to getting like an artist edition. Feral Star by John Burkett, zero, number zero, part one. First printing, 34 of 50. How exclusive am I? All right, look at this. So you can already see that this is no joke this is like science fiction at its great greatest we got a lot of texture and detail and black and white depth beautiful cross hatching amazing black with stars here i don't know if he works uh completely like pen and ink brush you know markers whatever or if he's doing digitally it looks very like hand-drawn um you know sometimes artists will like do this and then maybe drop in the stars but it's all looking hand-drawn and i'm loving it like he definitely is a master of his craft and he puts in all these little details and the little like hatching and shading you know very consistent with like 2000 ad um style um of art with like uh you know john mcmahon and um brian boland and or was it ed mcmahon no, of course it wasn't Ed McMahon, but um, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, but it looks really good. I mean, the story is great. Like, of course, look at this great, like, uh, alien creature. I mean, we're deep in science fiction. I feel like I'm reading um, an episode of Heavy Metal Magazine. I love the uh, negative space on this panel. It is so good. You know, I have to say... Um, I love comics of all shapes, size, and um, forms, but this ash can is such a teaser because I desperately want like either a standard size or a uh, treasury size to show off all this beautiful art. And I do think John's art is featured in the uh, forthcoming Ghost Agents, perhaps, that is coming out in treasury size. So I'm going to gobble that up when I get to drink in all this beautiful art in uh, a larger size. I mean, his detail is insane. Like, I feel like um, there are not a lot of artists currently. Like, I don't feel like this is necessarily the style, but there are definitely plenty of them out there who still kind of do this, um, especially if you look within, like, the indie artists or the self-published or the gun underground artists comics. You know, a lot of them put every single bit of blood, sweat, tears, and ink on the page. And um, I see that in John Burkett's art. He is definitely like a craftsman here. Really beautiful art. Solid storytelling. It is just, the flow is very well from panel to panel. You know, the, uh, it's funny because, uh, when you look, you, you don't, when you look at a comic book page, you don't just look at the panel, you like look at the entire page, like um, the way the flow of the page, the way your eye flows, the composition and all that kind of stuff is very important, no matter how you do it, to just creating a captivating, interesting, entertaining uh, comic. And it's funny because when it's done well, you notice it less because it just flows so um, seamlessly. And this has such a nice flow to it that I think that it shows way more when it's not done well.
this is such a tease. This is so ambitious. This is so great. Like, I really think this is amazing. I love the lettering font. It's very, like, Bob Le Pan um ish um i like it so much that's a great shot there oh thanks michael you're welcome john subscribe to the ongoing adventure for free at john burkett.substack so you guys definitely need to check this out another amazing artist that i'm so happy to spotlight and hopefully bring some attention to i will put links to his socials in the description and hopefully uh there's other versions of this available for purchase maybe the one with the color uh Cover, get in contact with John, John Burkett.substack.com, Instagram, John Burkett Studio, and Twitter, Sublime Cartoon. Definitely an artist to keep your eye on. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I'll bring you more later.